Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I hope that you guys enjoy what you see. Um, I did want to do a, I guess, Thanksgiving semi-glam look, depending on what lip combo you decide to do this with. But I feel like this look is very fall appropriate. I feel like it's very... It's defined and it's glamorous, but it's still soft and elegant. And I feel like it is a beautiful look for you to rock with your family and show them your skills. I just did this like mauve berry color, um, kind of burgundy, plum mauve eye look. And I kept it very, very matte, um, except for the highlight. And um, what else did I do? I just try to keep it as simple as possible, um, but l as flawless as possible as well. Um, this kind of video, I don't think I've done a complete like talk through video with you guys of what I'm doing, so the video might be a little long and I am sorry for that. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to talk with you guys and explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and just have a little fun with you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to prime my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and this is just a little baby sample. The first thing I'm going to do is take my like shader brush and I'm going to take the shade Beaches and Cream. That's this shade right here. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take the shade Cupcake right here and I'm going to use that with my E40 and I'm just going to buff that on the crease. Um, I'm going to buff it above the crease as a transition color. Like I'm going to put it right here on my crease and blend upward. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to put a little bit of the shade in Unexpected and that's this shade right there and I kind of just want to get that just a little bit I put it a little bit more like right under the cupcake this is an elf contour brush and I am going to take the absolutely stunning shade in bitten and that's this one right here top off the excess and I'm gonna put that right on the crease like you don't want that below the crease or above the crease so just try to concentrate it right in the contour of your eye. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to, I'm not going to add any more, I'm just kind of going to blend right there. Like Now I'm going to take my E40 again and just blend above. I'm taking my next Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Milk and I'm going to just put that right above, right on the lid. Now I'm going to take my little ring finger and I'm going to blend this in. I'm going to blend this way. Down. Down. So the lid color that I'm going to use is my Beaches and Cream. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to go right back into that E25 that I used to blend the crease and I'm just going to blend the eyelid color with the crease. I'm not adding any additional product. I'm going to add a little tiny baby bit of bitten just to keep that crease as intense as I want it to be. Then I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that Beaches and Cream. Of course I want, I want to deepen this out a little bit. I'm going to take this shade right here which is Makeup Geek Coco Bear. I'm not going to bring it in very much. I'm just kind of dabbing it here. And I'm using my Anastasia Dual Ended Brush. That I I'm going to add a little bit of Makeup Geek Corrupt. And that's this super intense black. I take just a dab of that Corrupt. And I'm going to place it right here. This color is so pigmented that you don't need a whole lot. Can you guys see how little bit that is? Little bit. I'm going to take a little bit more of that Cocoa Bear and I'm going to just use it right here to blend these and help it look more transitioned. Now 
I'm gonna take um, the same brush and dip it back into Beaches and Cream and I just kinda wanna pat that on the lid to just make sure that everything is blending out. Now to highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. brush again and I'm gonna dip right back into that Beaches and Cream and I'm just gonna highlight. I'm just taking my E40 and just making sure that all these colors blend together. Now I want a really um, matte wing. So I'm going to take my Maybelline, um, my Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner. And this little guy is in blackest black. And I'm going to take that with, with I'm going to take it with my e.l.f. a small angle brush. Now I'm just going to take this makeup wipe and I'm going to clean under my eye and just clean any mess that I don't like. And now let's get started with the face. The first thing I'm going to do, my face is so oily, Lord Jesus. The first thing I'm going to do is take this Little Baby Professionals um, to prime my face. Just warm it up and place it where you want it to go. Okay, now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation and I'm going to take my True Match Lumi Con Condition Foundation. And so I'm going to take one pump of my L'Oreal True Match and this is in the shade W3. And then I'm going to take one pump of my CoverGirl Outlast and this is in the shade Medium Beige. Kind of like, kind of just smearing it everywhere. I'm going to take my Sigma E not E, <laughs> my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and I'm going to press this into the skin. Blend it down to your neck always and forever because you don't want to look like a cake face and you don't want to see, you don't want people to see the line of where you applied your foundation. I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser thingy and this is in the shade Light. And I'm also going to use this to highlight the other parts of my face. So I'm going to look crazy for a little bit. Okay, and to blend that out, this is dirty because I used it this morning. Um, Sigma F86 a Tapered Kabuki Brush and I'm going to press this into the skin. Do you guys want to see my friend? In my first haul, she's the one that I talked about that told me about the rock, the Rocket Mascara. And then in my last Ipsy bag, she's the one that wanted the darker color and I got it. Yay! And yeah, you guys want to say hi to her? I know you do. Cause I had to the camera, little Katie. I said hi already. No, you did it. Earlier. That's a blooper, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come say hello. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Bro, I feel like this is too bright. I think I over highlighted you guys. What do you think? I think I highlighted way too much. <laughs> That's Katie. Say hello. <laughs> I'm gonna take my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation and this is in the shade medium beige. Now I'm gonna take my little e.l.f. kabuki brush and I'm going to press that into the skin. Okay, now to set my under eye I'm going to take my Ben Eye Banana Powder and my little e.l.f. setting brush. Guys, this does such a good job at setting your under eye. Your face is just look flawless. I'm going to take my hula bronzer and I'm going to use this to contour my face. I've been scratching guys. <laughs> to contour, I'm going to use my e.l.f. angled blush brush. I recently purchased this brush and I love it so much. It's very, it's really dense. So I feel like it's really good to contour and then it's also good to buff it out. It's just a really good brush. And then once you have contoured, just use the same brush and blend it upward. Mm. 
Now we're going to bring a little bit of it to the jaw. And just blend that. Now to just add a little bit more oomph, I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, multitasking brush. I'm going to take the shade, the Laguna shade, and just very lightly dip it in there. And then just use it to warm up the face just a little bit more. Now I'm going to use this little um, elf smudge brush and I'm just going to use this to contour my nose. Now I'm just going to take this uh, Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush and I'm just going to use this to blend it out. So I'm going to keep the blush as, I guess, neutral and complementary to both colors. Um, and Melba by MAC is definitely one of those shades that you can pretty much pair with any eye look, so it's safe. I'm actually going to use that same multitask brush to apply that brush. Um, I did wipe it so it doesn't have any of that Laguna bronzer. Just zip that bad water right there. And you want to start, I like to start from back here. And then blend it this way. Because you don't want like, like a little clown cheek, like it's a little poofy balls. <laughs> now I'm going to zoom you guys back in and we're going to continue with our eyeballs. I kind of want to keep going with the whole little mauve berry thing that I have going on. So I'm going to take um, this Tarte eyeliner and I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. I'm going to put it in the waterline and on the actual lash line. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take that same e.l.f. smudge brush. I'm going to mix the shade Cocoa Bear and Bitten. And I'm just going to put that very, very pre precisely ah, on that lower lash line. Kind of just press that in and that's just going to set the eyeliner. I'm going to take my e.l.f. defining eye brush. I'm going to take the shade Creme Brulee. And this is by Makeup Geek as well. So tap off the excess and just use that to blend out the lower lash line. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer shimmer. And I'm literally going to put that just right there. That's why I'm using this little e.l.f. concealer brush because I don't want to bring it down. I just want this little section to have a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to do the same thing for my inner corner highlight. I'm going to take my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes. And I've been so obsessed with my telescopic mascara that I have totally avoided my Jordana. But I love you, baby. This mascara is awesome, but you do have to clean the excess because Lord Jesus does let out a lot of product. product. Like so. I of course have to use my telescopic to do my lower lashes because I just love it. Okay, now is when I like to set my eyebrows because I feel like sometimes I get a lot of um, powders and they kind of white out the brow. Guys, this is Sasha. Say hi. <laughs> She's the one that's going to do the lip swatches with me. So you can see on me and you can see on her. Go away, man. <laughs> Look at what I got. I should be eating healthy, but shh. Oh, it's red velvet, dog. It's oh, red yeah. velvet. Okay, so... Oh, by the way, I changed because my battery died, and... I took advantage of the time. So, I tried to do some type of bun to make my hair look a little presentable, but it's acting crazy. So, do as you please with your hair. I almost forgot to add my highlight, and I'm going to add my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip, and this is in Miami Strip. 
but I'm going to take these three shades right here. And I'm just going to apply that with my e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm just going to apply that right above the blush on my cheekbones. This is a completed makeup and eye look. I really, really like it. I feel like it's elegant and it can be glammy. Fi? Glammy? It can be glamified. It can look very glamorous. Um, but I feel like it's still classic and I don't feel like it is too much for, like, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my god, I almost forgot to set my makeup. I'm going to do two lip combos. One is more of, it's still, like, mauve and brown and it's... Not really, it's not nude, but it is a deeper nude. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. You guys will see. And then the other one is just straight up dark. The lip line is from Jordana, and this is in the shade Tawny. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm not going to overdraw them or anything. I'm just going to line them. And then I'm going to take one of my new favorites. So this is, um... The gorgeous Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Lolita. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, this baby will not move while you're eating. It literally, like, stays on. Like, it's, it's amazing. And it won't, doesn't really transfer. And I love it because it's so um, comfortable on the lips. It feels very, very lightweight. It is a dark color, but I love it. But if you do feel like this is a little bit too dark, you can just take a nude lipstick and you can just lighten it up. And because I do want to keep the lip matte, I did use um, Max Honey Love and this is just a very beautiful matte nude. Okay, for the dark lip combination, I'm going to take NYX Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Prune. And I'm just going to line my lips with this as well. I'm going to fill in my lips because I want this color to last as long as possible. You are going to be eating, and you kind of want to leave at least some type of stain or something on your lips if you were to eat away your lipstick. Now I'm going to take my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Cherry Cordial. Okay oh yeah, guys, this is what the completed look looks like with this dark lip. You can rock it however you want. I just really, really like the combination of these colors because I love dark lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope some of you guys will be recreating this look. And if you are, make sure to tag me and make sure to let me know that you are going to do it. Or if you're going to take a picture on Instagram or whatever, then just follow me on my social media and tag me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching me. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family. I hope that you guys eat till your bellies are going to pop. And I hope that everybody takes a moment to sit down and think about what they're really, really thankful for. And really appreciate the life that you have lived so far and whatever has been given to you. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!